Okay, so what I will do in today's episode, I will unbox this machine over here. You can see me zooming in. Okay, so what is it? It's embroidery machine and I really wanted it for like four years when I started doing stickers. Okay. Okay, here you can see I even have my stickers on App Store, which is cool. Also, one of the biggest reasons why I did it is because this price, $260, $285 after taxes, which is unbelievable, I feel like, because it was always very expensive, at least $350 or more, even $400 for this machine, so like, I just couldn't resist myself and I did it. We'll see if it's gonna be worth it, if I'm gonna have any money from it or anything, or just gonna sit here and collect the dust, which I hope so will not happen. Okay, let's start this. So, here's the machine, this embroider part, and there's the pin to connect it. And now, all we need to do, of course, is take out all the blue stickers. Now, the Brother SC630. And right out of the gate, I can't really say that this machine was ever used, so it's basically brand new. I'm not really sure how they refurbished it, but it's more than excellent condition, okay? <laughs> because like you guys can see easily, literally there's nothing that would show up that this machine, at least so far, was ever used, which is great. Here is very nice touch, this is a handle actually, so you can carry your machine on the walk, maybe with your dog. And here, right now is sewing part, so after taking this sticker, we can change to embroider part just by sliding it out. Of course, here are no pins or anything, and this is very nice human design, which of course will just snap, and that's it. If you need to take it out, here on the bottom, there's like a piece, like a handle that you can press and unplug this module, basically. And again, just snap. Now, here I have the module, and all the accessories that they provide, but before that, let's quickly remove all the blue tape from the machine. Now, before we will do anything, let's connect our machine to the power to see if it even works. Here on the bottom we would have a plug. Okay, looks really beautiful, and the screen is pretty sharp, I would say. Let's compare the screen really quickly to iPod 2G. It's actually a little bit bigger than here, and also it's maybe actually the same size as iPhone 5S or 5, doesn't really matter. Or a little bit smaller than iPhone 13 mini. Oh, here you go. Or this huge iPhone for comparison. Uh, sure. Or here's the Pixel, if you have that phone, different color, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's pretty nice, bright, sharp, maybe almost like Retina. So we have right now like two options basically. First one, if we would go this way here, we would wind the bobbin, and if we go with the thread over here, there, we can start embroidering. Now, this is sewing part, we need embroider part. And with this thing, we can make it up and then remove it. Or if we want to put our shirt or something here. So as our machine is over here, let's see what we also got with it. So. Here's first pouch, if I'm gonna open it, there's a lot of things actually. Okay, so here are bobbins. One over here that is not winded, and three that are actually winded. Here's our embroider part, we will learn today how to put it on. And few of the other things that we'll need if you will do other things than actually embroidering. Here's another pouch with the tools. One tool that we will definitely need in a second is this one. It's like a screwdriver but with flat head at the end. It's also very nice that they're providing scissors, needles, something like this for your threads. It's really nice. Something like this to carry your brother machine. Um, yeah, really big one. This part that I will probably not need for whatever I will do. And our hoop. Okay, that's it with accessories. Now let's play a little bit with brother SC630. We will learn right now how to wind a bobbin. So first of all, let's take this lever and gently pull it up. Now here's an arrow. Let's just pull here. It's gonna release. Very easily we can take off the bobbin from here and put back this plastic part.
Here's our machine, but we've. Here's our machine. Here's our brother machine. But we're mostly gonna focus right now on the top part of it because we need to wind the bobbin. Here's our machine. Here's our brother machine, but mostly what. Here's our brother machine, but mostly what we're gonna focus on is the top part of it. Because here we can actually wind the bobbin. And this is our bobbin. We need to locate two cutouts on both sides and match them over here. And all we're doing, we're just pressing down. If we need to take it out, we're just pulling it out. Alright, here's my thread. No more foil. And what we need to do, we need to get this part out. Now put our thread inside and we're gonna have something like this plastic and now we're just doing here to secure it and let's take the thread that uh, is hanging over here and now very simple but important parts so here we have the manual that it's all over the machine if you need help it's gonna be here but I'm gonna show you really quickly how to do it so first of all step one here we have hook and we're going over here with the thread inside. Now here's the plastic part. We need to go around it like this. Now another part, we have another hook over here on step three. So we're just going on the back of it over here. Now we're going up. Okay. And here we're going on the bottom. After we did it, we're going to the end. This is our end, fourth and last step. So we're just gonna go from this side. Remember, here, not here. Okay? It needs to go this way. And now we just need to cut it. Okay? So to do it, easy way, we can also get our part now to be closed so the machine will understand right away that it needs to do this part winding okay so now to cut the string we're just going here on the bottom and push that's it very simple now I'd like you would be able to see this button change from red to yellow now all we need to do is just press this yellow button and this way we'll start winding our bobbin now it depending of how big the wind do you need you can everything change with tool like this. You just need to unscrew this part, change it the way you want the bobbin to wind. Maybe you want it to be to the half, maybe to the full. You decide on it and then screw it in again and should be stable like it is right now. Also nice part about this metal part is that it can stop winding if it see that it's already on the edge. And also what you can do, you can press over here the yellow button to stop. If you want to continue, press again. That's it. When the process is done, just go again to the left side, take off the bobbin, nice and gentle, and after you can easily cut the string. And this is our finished product. Looks amazing. And what we can do with it, we can just put it back over here. So now we can put our bobbin inside okay but remember but one thing that the thread needs to go from the left not from the right okay so now let's put it inside like this and now here are the arrows okay one goes here and second going over there and here is the part that will cut our thread okay so let's put here okay behind this plastic part okay now we're still following the path okay there's not much paths than this one so it's not that hard to do it okay and over here we're just pulling and it should cut over here that's it now as our bobbin is installed we can put the plastic back now to change our head we of course can use our tool and all we need to do we can just screw it here which is counterclockwise now we need to be very careful with this needle because we don't want to hit it of course or touch it at all so 
we just need to gradually try to get it out like this that's it now this is our embroider head and this key looking thing needs to be to the right okay and now how to put it on to put it on we can unscrew a little bit this screw and now all we need to do is go over here like so okay and now pull it to the right after that we can even use our hand to screw it in without our tool okay like you see it's adjusting very nicely that's it everything is done now we can pull the lever and it's looking like this like you see everything is working so like I said at the beginning of this video you can do two things okay and go two ways first one here number three and second one another number three okay so from this way over here we can wind the bobbin alright we already learned that now if you want to start embroidering we need to reset a little bit our steps okay we're going here around where this hook is and now over here step one two and now we're going to step three over here so we're just going down like this and after that we're going around to the end and here is another hook okay and we're going with this hook down 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 and what we need to do right now you see number five and what we need to do here's hook number six alright let me get closer look to it so over here is number six so what we need to do we go over there okay and we're going where this hook is like so very good that's it now we're going to seventh part so we getting our thread over here okay and here where the crevice is boom that's all now we're going to step eight which is very simple basically the last part we're grabbing our thread over here okay and pushing the nine like so alright I'm zoomed in how much I could and like you can see the thread actually went through the hole in the needle now just grab let's say your tool and do like this also I didn't mention that you can actually skip this part 7th, 8th and 9th just by putting your thread inside of the needle then what you can do when your embroidering is starting you can just cut the thread and then it will not interrupt nothing while embroidering okay thank you for watching I hope it was informative at least a little bit I have only two more minutes on my camera to finish this video so I hope Everything that you saw today was helpful and if you have any more questions because I could have said more things in this video but I choose not to because those are the most basic fundamentals of how to start anything here. So if you have any questions leave them in the comment. Thank you so much for watching and I hope next video not gonna be half a year from now. Thank you, bye bye, logging off, <laughs> Ubi.